Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm going to do something here. You can actually be a perfect Mother's Day. Uh, if you want to get fancy on Mother's Day, y'all, coming up. Uh, hopefully, video will come out before Mother's Day. I got some bone in beef short ribs. See these? See these? Come on, Jeffrey. Bone in beef short ribs right here. I got an ATB. Had them on sale there. I got these for five dollars and twenty-five cents, y'all. Can you believe it? Five dollars and twenty-five cents for all these beef short ribs here. I got a lot of meat on them. Got that little fat marbling in there like I like. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna season these bad boys up. Dust them with some flour. I ain't gonna do nothing fancy with them. I'm gonna put some. Uh, Put some uh, tomato paste in there, a little beef stock. We're going to put them in our instant pot for an hour, and they're going to be ready. We're going to, uh, like I said, put them in the instant pot for an hour. Give me some mashed potatoes with it. Maybe some kind of vegetable. And we got us some braised oxtails. I'm going to put just a little liquid. I ain't going to smother them. We're going to like braise these, y'all, in the instant pot. Man, I'm gonna put very little liquid, just enough liquid to, to cover it. And uh that's it. Let me get my flour here. Hold on, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay. Y'all got the skillet over there heating up. I'm gonna put my all I'm doing, y'all, I'm dusting my short ribs with some flour. And I'm gonna get a nice color on them. want to get a nice color on them here. You can do this actually in the instant pot also, y'all. But I'm doing it in the skillet because it's more surface area. But if you want to do it right in the instant pot, by all means, you definitely can do that. And all I'm going to do when that comes out, I'm going to kind of get rid of that oil as much as possible. I'm going to deglaze it with some uh, beef stock here. And you can, some people use red wine. I'm going to use beef stock. And I'm going to put a little tomato paste in there. And that's it. We're going to add it to the... Uh, in fact, right now, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go on and make my beef stock up. And we ready to pour in there. And I use this better than bouillon. A lot of people use this. It's a good beef base. I add this with a little water. And make my own beef base like that. So that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. Throw that in my bowl with a little hot water. And that's gonna make me a nice beef sauce. Nice, beautiful beef stock there. See that, y'all? Got me a nice, beautiful beef stock. So, just a second, y'all. Just hang out right there with me. Get a little garlic in here. Get a little garlic. Okay. I want a nice, good golden brown sear on these things, y'all. That's what I want. Opening my tomato paste up. I'm gonna put a little tomato paste in here for color. And the half of this little thing for color later. And that's the only thing I'm gonna add to this. I'm not gonna add no onions, no celery. I'm gonna add a little garlic to this. But that's it. Make it as simple as possible. A little bit more good cold color on that. So I'll be right back when I get the color I achieve. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Another thing when you're searing these, y'all, make sure you sear them on all four sides. You know, they've got four sides. You want to get a nice sear on all four sides as much as possible. See that nice golden brown on there? See that? That's definitely what you want to achieve. See that nice color? That's what you want to do. Now, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to put them right in my instant pot here. Right here on the bottom. And 
This is gonna take about an hour to cook, y'all. Normally in the regular oven, it takes about two to two and a half hours. But in my world famous instant pot here, it ain't gonna take as long. Now what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna bring some of this oil out of here. I want to keep that flour in there as much as possible. There ain't a little bit, not all of it, y'all. Flavor, see that flavor there? I want that to stay in there, y'all. We'll just put some tomato paste in this thing. Just a second, y'all. Put a little tomato paste in here. And this way you can use your your red wine at. I want to get this here. Pane. The French word for what I'm doing, y'all. Gonna get that all cooked up in there. That tomato paste. It's gonna get a nice red color to my braising. That's why I say I'm not smothering in it. I'm braising this, y'all. See that? Nice color there to this tomato paste. Get it all cooked up in there. And add my garlic. Add a little garlic to this. And then I'm going to add beef stock. I'm not going to add any flour. Let me make sure this is mixed up in here good. I'm not adding any flour to this because I don't want a thick. I don't want a thick gravy. I want to braise it. I'm not smothering it. There's a difference in there. If I was smothering this, I put some flour in here. I put my dirty flour in there and all that. But this, I just want a nice flavorful stock here. See how pretty that is? Now I'm gonna season this with a little salt and pepper. Hold on, let me get the salt and pepper. First I'm gonna taste it here and make sure that, that beef base is already Salty. Put a little salt and pepper in there. I'm gonna put a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, y'all. AKA American soy sauce. I put a little Worcestershire sauce. I love that in everything I cook. Put a little salt and pepper in there. Now we're gonna get a little bit of that in there. Not much. Just a smidgen there. All right, that's my braising liquid right there. Okay, we're gonna move over to the. Hold on, let me get this out the way. It's nothing like braised short ribs, y'all. I know y'all been to restaurants that have short ribs on the menu, and they braise them. It's just the best thing in the world. So anyway, let me move you back over to the Instant Pot here. I got my short ribs right in there. See them bad boys in there? Now all I'm gonna do, is put my braising liquor right over the top. Put it in right there over the top here. See that, you just want just enough liquid Go over the top. Move that around just a little. Get your butt in there. There we go. There we go. Oh, you want to have to stand you up? If I got to stand you up, I'll stand you up. I want all y'all to be in there equally. Equally, yeah. There we go. All right. Got them all in there. I'm going to put my pot on here. The top on here. My pot on here. Make sure it's sealed. Go down to meat setting here. My meat stew setting. See that? My meat stew setting there. We're gonna go one hour on these. In fact, I'm gonna go. We're gonna let it slow release. So we're gonna go 70 minutes, hour and 10 minutes, and we're gonna let it slow release, y'all. After hour and hour and 10 minutes, we're gonna let it slow release. In the oven, y'all. Normally in the oven. It takes two, two and a half hours to cook these things. So we're going to go an hour and 10 minutes on it. We'll come back. I'm going to give me some mashed potatoes ready and some corn maybe. We're going to have a good time eating tonight. We'll be right back. 
All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, I let it do a little slow release here, y'all. And we're going to open this bad boy up. And we're going to show y'all what we have in here. Let me let y'all look down in there. See that, y'all? Look at that, look at that, look at that. That's a good breeze here, y'all. And these things are so tender. Need the bone already come off of them. You see how tender those are? Like I said, I think the bone done kind of slipped off in there. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off here. I'm going to plate up me some here. And I'm going to keep this liquid. Like I can say, this is a braising liquid. I don't want this stuff thick. You'll see down in here. See that nice little sauce there? That's all I want. I don't even want it thick. Nice little sauce on there. You can make it thick with gravy if you want to. But, uh... That's pretty much it. What I might do, y'all, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me show y'all what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. I'm gonna take these out of here. I got a pot over here next to me. I got my Dutch oven here on next to me here. What you can do, y'all. Yeah, these things are so tender. See that bone come right out of them. Actually, we don't need the bone anyway, do we? We don't need that bone anyway. I should have another bone in there. There we go. Y'all know that's all we, what we're going to do. We're going to turn this off. Go to saute. And what I'm going to do, get this other bone out of here. I'm going to thicken this up just a little with cornstarch there. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all see that little liquid there? What I did, I just put it on the saute setting. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to add some cornstarch in here. A slurry, you know, cornstarch and water. And I'm going to tighten this up just a little. I don't want a thick gravy. That's why I'm adding cornstarch and not, uh, Roux. See? It's got a nice little, nice little sauce there for you. Just to kind of enhance it. You'll see it here. Let me get my ladle here. See that? Thicken it up just slightly. See that nice sauce you created? It's not thick. It's not too thin and not too thick. It's very flavorful. And you'll see when I plate it up how flavorful it is. Look at that. See that? Nice little sauce to go with. That's a sauce and not a gravy. There's a difference. If it's a gravy, to be thick, thick, thick. And that's not what I want. So what I'm going to do, I'm just pour these right over top of the short ribs. Be perfect with the mashed potatoes. I already seasoned really, really good. And that's it. So I'll be back. We're gonna, I got some corn here. I got some mashed potatoes. We're going to plate this bad boy up and we're about to eat. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Check this out, y'all. Check this out right here. Can't get no better than that, right? That's better than Luby's, huh? Let me get me some hot sauce here. Y'all know I need to get me a little hot sauce on there. Don't judge me. And I took the bone to just come right out, as you can see. And y'all see here that, see this sauce here? It's more of a sauce and not a gravy. It's just enhancing meat. It doesn't sit on there heavy. And that's how you like to do my short rib. Look at that little gravy there. See how that sauce just sits on the on the potato? Mm. Okay. You don't really need a knife for this, y'all. It's so tender. A mashed potato with that. Look at this here. How tender that meat is. Mm. So succulent and tender. I'll tell y'all. That's the only way eat beef short beer. Mm, mm, mm. Like I say, a mashed potato. I put corn on there. Look at that bite there. Mm, 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 mm. Perfect Sunday meal. Like I said, do that for Mother's Day. Get you some green beans to go on there. 
I got one more jar on my canned green bean for this past summer. So I don't want to use them up for this. But yeah, they can go any kind of vegetable on there with that. So anyway, y'all, just want to show y'all a good way to easy way, the instant pot to do beef short ribs. Fall off the bone tender and on there an hour. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.